Here we are at Connor Reserve. Preston about to kick off in the Doherty Cup clash between the Lions and South Melbourne. Let's take a quick look at the two lineups. Preston looks to have a fairly full strength side on the field with Chalmers, Pender, Stoichevsky, Spasevsky all playing in defence. And Romanovsky, Ilyevsky, Kuchelevsky, Chiodo, Lakovsky, and Sasha Besanovsky also in the lineup. They're looking pretty much full strength despite the fact they've just got back from Tasmania and the end of season trip and some of the boys are feeling a little bit under the weather apparently and South Melbourne a quick look at their lineup Anastasiadis back from Port Melbourne in goal a couple of youngsters on show Con Blatsis in defense the number two Damianos in midfield with Panopoulos Con Anthopoulos is there as well Alex Kuzmanovic and uh, the old favorites Trimboli Peterson and Vaughan Coveney, a new signing, number 10, also in the lineup. Anastasiadis, long kick with the wind in this first half, playing from right to left. Going through to Tanzel Beza, takes the throw. He's another one of the young players who were in South Melbourne's youth team last year. Chance to stake a claim for their own spot in an NSL side. Such has been the clean out that Frank Garrock has taken on here at South Melbourne. Part last year and getting them into the finals very much included there. Dean Coveney, who it's the first time I've seen Dean Coveney here in Melbourne and he's a big tall striker there. But uh, you're looking at Mickey Peterson and Alex Kuzmanovic being the, uh, up the middle, the, uh, Kuzmanovic at the back and Peterson in the middle. And then of course Paul Trimboli up front. So uh, I'm really interested to see how they perform today, Paul. Yeah, I've heard uh well, I remember Vaughan Coveney, of course, from the Melbourne Knights two or three seasons ago. He was an outstanding player, but then shortly after he joined the club, new players joined the club as well as a new coach, and he couldn't find a place in the side. He went to Wollongong, had a season and a half at Wollongong, was the first player in about 50 years to score more than 10 goals in the National League for Wollongong last year. He bagged about 12 or 13, I think, and uh, now he's joined South Melbourne. So he's a, a good recruit. The ball comes across and the opening goal, in fact, is for South Melbourne. Well, Paul, that came right out of the blue. I mean, it's just totally unexpected. Mickey Peterson's chipped it in and uh, we think it's just the person you're talking about. Von Coveney got on the end of it. Yeah. Deep ball from Pender. Blatsis. Oh, giving away pressure here from Preston. Can they make the most of it? Kuchelewski. Good shot! Not a bad effort at all from Nick Kuchelewski. It just fired past Dean Anastasiadis' left-hand post there. Yeah, just at the moment, Paul, I think uh, corners for South Melbourne are, you can put down as a definite chance because of the height that they've got in defence. And here we go, Von Coveney. Keep it a beat. Good save from Edzkovsky. Peterson's in there. South Melbourne. Class above Preston so far today with just one goal to show for it, though. And Kuchelewski's free on the left-hand side, faced by Damian Oss. Kuchelewski goes on the left foot, great run. Still Kuchelewski, side netting. South Melbourne forward now. Panopoulos in the centre of the park. Given away by some fine positioning from Adrian Pender and Preston are onside. It's a good ball from Pender. Lakovsky down the right. South Melbourne back pedalling, good cross in, Bezanovski! Fine save there by Anastasiadis. And South Melbourne trying to clear now with Peterson. But again, Preston have opened up South Melbourne. And with an ounce of luck there, Frank McGrellis, that would have been an equaliser. Yeah, well, two two opportunities there within, within the space of 30 seconds for Preston, Paul. And uh, I think Sasha Bezanovsky should have done better. And although Dean got his hands, Dean Anastasiadis got his hands on it, I think Sash would feel that he should have done a bit better with that opportunity. Trimboli on the far post, across the goal, and a goal from Paul Trimboli. Yeah, and there it is, Paul, suddenly from having two chances to get back to 1-1, uh, South Melbourne break down the right, bought with the far post, Paul Trimboli hangs well wide and heads it back in. Possibly, I'm not sure if Paul's going to head it back across goal, but uh, it's ended up in the back of the net. Free kick, Preston, Pender forward, looking for Ladkovsky. Cut out by Blatsis, who hammers it back down the line to Pender. Another chance for him. He'll go long. Far post ball. Good ball it was, too. 
in space here. Shot tried by the number eight, Ilyevsky. Fine ball from Adrian Pender. Half time at the BT Connor Reserve and it's Preston nil, South Melbourne 2. A little bit of confusion over that first goal, but in fact it was an own goal. The ball went in the net off a Preston defender. Paul Trimboli with South Melbourne's second goal. A nice looping header over the Preston goalkeeper, Tom Rajkowski. 2-0 at half time. Really a bit of a cakewalk for South Melbourne at this stage. They're looking well on top, but uh, Nick Kuchelewski from Preston was the outstanding player in the red and black side and uh, he caused South Melbourne a couple of problems, might even have had a goal for himself as well with an ounce of luck. So 2-0 the score, South Melbourne well on top, Greg, and uh, some young players starting to play well. Yeah, and good form in this competition is important, bearing in mind that, uh, of course, last year, uh, the Melbourne Knights won the Doherty Cup in the pre-season, went on to take it all in the National League, so good signs for South Melbourne. And good signs for the soccer show, good people involved in the soccer show, Paul, apart from you and I, of course. <laughs> I'm going to credit the sponsors because, by heck, I think they deserve it. Detail excavations, you want holes, Paul, they'll give them to you. Telly Italia, all the action on the Italian First Division, one of the, one of the keys to their coverage of sport. Telly Italia, magnificent. Bayswater Indoor Soccer Centre and Clothing Shop. You wouldn't go past it, would you really? And, of course, Aqua Minerale, Sertosa, Italy's best. Now in Australia, of course, Dump Master, Paul Williams. And haven't I had a need for a dump master every now and then? For all your rubbish removal requirements, and of course the great man's Evo's pizzas, magnificent. We'll be scoffing a few of those. Presumably, Paul, together we'll break bread or we'll break pizza together after the program. Sounds Get on good. with it, son. Go. Sounds good. Okay, we'll take a quick sponsor's break and be back with the second half of Preston against South Melbourne. The Bayswater Indoor Soccer Shop has a large range of English and European NSL club shirts, scarves, flags and souvenirs. Currently on sale are soccer boots and indoor soccer runners. Mention this announcement and receive 10% discount on any item in the store. Call in to the Bayswater Indoor Soccer Centre at 13 Burton Court in Bayswater or telephone 9729-1999. That's 9729-1999. Another Channel 31 sponsor. The Melbourne City Mission Community Visitors Scheme needs your help. If you have some time every fortnight... Mike Peterson, playing a very deep position at the start of this second half. Kuzmanovic forward, Bezer just holding the ball up. He's a big strong lad, Tanzel Bezer, holding off his man with consummate ease. In South Melbourne, nice passage of play for them. Trimboli lost it though, Besvanovsky. And Lukowski's forward is onside. Anastasiadis right out of his goal. He would have to be 40 yards out of his goal. And he clobbered Lukowski there. I'm sure Lukowski couldn't believe it that a goalkeeper was right on top of him when he ran onto that through ball. Yeah, I think he, uh, he was in a great position there, Paul. And he's the surprise that Dean Anastasiadis is charging into him. And Dean Anastasiadis is doing a great sweeping job there. A crunching slide and tackle and clearing the ball over the halfway line. But there'll be a drop ball on the halfway. Play continues. Peterson, who's had more touches than anyone in the match so far. And South Melbourne begin again. Con Blatzis on the halfway. Mangos inside. Switching play now. Kuzmanovic. Just creeping into the Preston half now. Flicked on by Trimboli. Ball goes back to Rajkovsky. Forced to clear long. Not a great clearance, a little nine iron rather than a big hoof down the park. South Melbourne in possession again, Anthopoulos. Scrappy start to the second half from both sides. South Melbourne of course as my co-commentator alluded to earlier, will really want to have a good victory here so that they can continue to get some match practice in the Doherty Cup before the NSL starts. Preston could be in action again if they can produce 
Some kind of comeback here. Wednesday night is the next round of Doherty Cup games as Coventry forces his way into the area and powers the ball past the goalkeeper for South Melbourne's third goal. Well, that's quality pull from a striker. He's uh, seen the little gap there. He's knocked the ball forward, opened them legs of his and got past the, the defence and then just got the strike. Wasn't a dynamic strike. It wasn't uh, over hit. But he's beat the goalkeeper and uh, he's given South Melbourne the cushion now. South Melbourne push out very quickly. I just wonder if this new offside game that they're playing is something that Frank Arrock's experimenting with today, or whether it's a plan for the season. But as soon as this side gets a touch on a ball, they all push out very quickly. Yeah, as soon as they get the clearance, Paul, they do. They, they push up and uh, as we've seen earlier in the game, there was two opportunities where Preston caught them. And have a look now, three against three, and there they go again, they're caught again. This time Preston beat the trap because they all stayed in their own half and it's Besvidovsky forcing his way into the area and he was pulled back and that's a penalty for Preston. Clear holding there by Con Blatzis on Sash Besvidovsky. They sprung again, the offside trap and uh, it's a penalty. Risky tactics indeed. And it didn't pay off for South Melbourne in this instance because Preston broke away. Besvidovsky who has had a good game and he has had his chances today as well. Forced out the foul out of Blatzis and it's Besvinovsky with a chance to take the spot kick and he blasts it past Anastasiadis for Preston's first goal. He's actually had a couple of opportunities, Paul, isn't he? And uh, unfortunately for him today, they haven't gone in, but he didn't mess around there. And uh, we've seen a few penalties where players are trying to place it and players are trying to con the uh, goalkeeper into moving before they kick it. But Sash Bezanovsky put his head down and blasted it straight through into the net. But Preston forward again. Number two down the right hand side is Anthony Chodo. He'll take the throw in. Preston crowd just starting to sense that there's half a chance for their side here. The ball comes in! Just past the post and a header there from Bezanovsky. Great try indeed. It was a half chance at best. Kuchelevsky, free on the left hand side, takes a man on, takes two men on. Cross comes in. Anastasiadis comes. He fumbles it. It's been dropped. And South Melbourne can't clear it. Is this the goal for Preston? Had to be forced away from goal. The cross comes over. Besvinovsky's there. A crowd appealing for a penalty. Comedy of errors in the South Melbourne penalty area, but they come away now with Trimboli. And a real let off there, Frank. Yeah, you, you called it, Paul. Comedy of errors, it really was, between Dean Anastasiadis and the South Melbourne defence there. Little chip from Penda. Trimboli in possession now. Time to turn away. Mike Peterson. Couldn't find the run from Nikolic. Kuchelewski against South Melbourne forward. This time he's on side. Rob Stoicheski. He's through into the penalty area. Only Anastasiadis to beat. And a fine saving tackle indeed from Mangos. And again the offside trap fails. Frank Arrox on his feet. I'm not sure whether it's the linesman he's abusing or the players. But either way he'll be disappointed there. But not as disappointed as Stoicheski who should have scored Frank. Peterson now. For Blatzis to make a run forward. Chance, good cross in, keeper stays. Fine goal by Steve Panopoulos to put the icing on the cake for South Melbourne. Yeah, well, it all started with Mickey Peterson uh, in possession there and, and, and really asking Con Blatzis, why are you standing back on the halfway line and, and urging him forward? Pushes the ball forward in front of him and gets uh, Con Blatzis down the line, cross in. And thank you very much, Steve Panopoulos, probably one of the smallest guys on the park, gets the head on it and beats uh, Tom Ratkowski quite comfortably there.